hello everybody welcome back today we are going to be talking about critical reading getting deeper into agreement i'm going to get to be our week three of critical review and writing not everything that is faced can be changed but nothing can be changed until it is faced and this was said by james baldwin then our soft topic we're talking about persuasion argument and critical abuse when we think seriously about an argument not only do we encounter ideas that may be unfamiliar, but also we are forced to examine our own cherished opinion. Now, what do we mean by persuasion? It means to convince someone else to accept or adapt your um, position. Persuasion can be accomplished through two things, by giving reasons, by appealing to emotions, by being nine or threatening someone. Then, we talk about argument. Argument it represents the only one form of persuasion, but a special one, one that elevates the cognitive or intellectual capacity for reason. Aspect of persuasive writing: we have logos, pathos, ethos. Then, for the logos, appeal to word or reason. For the pathos, appeal to emotions such as anger, fear, or pity. Then, ethos, the importance of impressing the audience that is speaking is a person of authority now reasons rationalization and confirmation bias we know that if we set our mind to a problem we can often find reasons not always necessarily sound ones but almost anything we want to justify reasons it explains like many of reasons explains why something is done rationalization it is a personal and can justify whatever we want then confirmation bias is a type of cognitive bias that describes the tendency to seek out find and employ evidence that, in, that reinforces our intonation of pre-existing beliefs in this process only confirmatory ideas information and data are accountants for and take seriously while disconfirming data are ignored or threats with skepticism. In other words, consciously or unconsciously, we ignore the full picture. Types of reasoning. There are two types of reasoning. We have inductive reasoning or induction. It's essentially a process of thinking in which patterns or evidence are examples and examples accumulate, accumulate until the thinker draws reasonable conclusion. From what has been observed, the word induction comes from a Latin um from what I was the word comes from a Latin that is to lead into or to lead up to. Then deduction reasoning. In Latin it means to lead down from. Deductive reasoning is the process of moving down from one given true statement through another true statement to proceed a reasonable conclusion. They have premises of stabilizing. Stabilizing Latin for reckoning together is often used to show the truth of factual or conclusion. Then we have classic examples of synergism. We have premise, premise, conclusion. That premise all human being are mortal. So great is human being, so creates is mortal. Then we talk about the purpose of stabilizing is simply to present reasons that establish the truth of a conclusion. Truth can be democratic if the argument satisfies both the two. Now we have procedures in arguments. We have definitions, definitions, synonym as an example. Then we have non-rational appeals. Then my reaction or response. I learned that um, about the appeals is persuasive writing. I learned about the types of reasoning. I learned about the procedures in arguments. Thank you. And we have for week three.